Hello Taurus and welcome to your new moon in Scorpio reading for the 15th to the 30th of November. I'm going to start your reading off with a couple of cards from the Psychic Tarot. Basically what you're coming out of and where you're headed. Let's just get that to start off and then begin the reading. That's one second. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> the cards we have. Number 17 from the Major Arcana, Hope. Um, that reminds me of the Sun card for some reason. It's a beautiful card. Just place that right there so you can have a look at that. And the other card that we had is Transformation. Number 13 from the Major Arcana. So that's pretty good. Some major life changes happening. It's a very interesting time for all the Taurians out there. Okay, so let's have a read. Um, okay, so Hope, number 17. I'll just hold that up for you while I read it. Okay. It says here, this is a card that focuses on the qualities of hope, faith, healing, aspiration, success, and finally, enlightenment. When this card appears, know that a special wish you've made may be fulfilled in time. This hope card will help show you that the impossible can indeed become possible. The force that works through your soul determining what's, <laughs> what's possible and the difference between success over failure, and above all, who we are, is the power of your belief. This card serves as a reminder to use your natural ability of intuition, the language of the soul, as you reach for your goals and desires. The future can be yours when you have hope and trust in everything you do. Soon others will be attracted and drawn to your inner light. Learn to share your experiences and lessons for those around you will also realize that by having faith and pushing forward where one may have felt no hope at all, where, yeah, sorry, where one may have felt no hope at all is the key to success. Above all, maintaining a positive attitude starting right now, this very minute, will allow your soul to soar. You'll discover an opportunity to shine, to shine as you reach for the stars. So it's actually the star card. It does look like the sun, doesn't it? So that's really, really beautiful. Um, the star card is about healing as well. So it's kind of like you've come out of a, a period of healing and you're going into more transformation because it's like you have to heal and release the baggage that's holding you down and keeping you in your programming to be able to actually transform and move forward. So that kind of makes sense and I like it. <laughs> All right. So the next card that you'll have, apologies, dropping things today. Yeah. This is number 13, transformation. So it says, a time of endings is close at hand. Don't resist the abrupt changes that are suddenly happening in your life. These could be taking place in your personal life, relationships, business, or career. You you have the strength, as the transformation card asks you, to have courage and to know that renewal allows, sorry, renewal follows every conclusion. This card comes forth <clears throat> to remind you that the death of an old way of thinking and believing must occur before you can move forward on your new path. Transformation is not all about the ebb and, f sorry, it's all about the ebb and flow of life cycles. Nothing in this life remains motionless. Everything is on its way to somewhere. Accept the changes and opportunity will come to expand you in more ways than you could have ever imagined. You can't live in the past. It's time to move on. In order to take the next positive step, you should look closely at your own life and ask yourself, are these loose ends that need to be tied up? So are there loose ends that need to be tied up? Are there people in your life whom I need to express myself to? What needs to be completed so I can have a fresh start? When you do so, you will have a stronger, more reinforced foundation to carry you through the, the new beginnings that await you. It's the death card in a traditional tarot. Of course, traditional transformation. So that's pretty beautiful. Um, funny thing is, I'm a Taurus sun, and I feel this coming. I really do this whole transformation, the releasing of an old version of you, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a throat. Apologies. All right, now I'm going to make this a reading where we do six cards for the past, present, and future. Um, but I will pull some monology cards um, to see 
what the past, present, and future sort of overall energy is like. So, Michael, may I have a card for the past? We have. <laughs> In the past, it was what do you need to release? Confirming those cards that we just had. Okay. Then. We have, in the present, the, the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. That's actually, I believe, what stage we're in right now, actually. Yes, we are. Um, so it's a waxing moon, and that's exactly the phase we're in, in the moon phases. So I feel like that's pretty um, synchronistic in a lot of ways, because that's going to be the f uh, present row. All right, so what's happening in the future? The overall energy of what's playing out in the future. We already know transformation, but... <laughs> is it luck on the side? Oh, sure the okay. Alright. <clears throat> the last card for the future is show the rule you <laughs> show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little bit tongue tied. I'll try to slow down. So that's the card for the future. So let us pull some tarot and see what we got going on. Alright. I do shuffle these off screen, so I'll just give it one little shuffle so I don't blow out my candles. Alright, Taurus, let us see what's happening in the past. What do you need to release? Can I have six cards for that, please? What happened in this past storyline? Cards going everywhere. Can you see that? So we've got the Queen of Wands, and we've got the King of Pentacles. Ooh, interesting combination, I like it. Okay, what else comes after that, and what do you need to release for the past? <clears throat> then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, then the Tower. <laughs> Two more, please. Maybe. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Mm. And the seven of wands. Okay, let me tidy these guys up. Just a mm, There you go, you should be able to see those. Alright. So just looking at these, the Queen of Wands is fire energy. Um so this could be you Taurus, but it could be somebody in your energy that's embodying these energies. Um, but there's been a earth sign or someone like a king of pentacles, very grounded, very stable, very abundant kind of person in your life. This could be a masculine figure, but they're predominantly masculine energy. Um, and I feel like you guys kind of had this vibe of, yes, you want to build an empire, but something's been happening. There has been the undoing of unstable foundations in the past. Yeah. Um, and now it's kind of like, you know you built a good foundation, you were working on something wonderful, but something went wrong in the past. And now you were kind of in a stage of waiting for things to shift. And you're just pretty much standing your ground and knowing your worth, like working on yourself, taking care of yourself, that kind of thing. You know, like knowing who you are, where you're coming from, what you're about. Owning your stuff, walking your talk, basically, you know. Um, so that is just a real quick one, but I will give you more info once... I pull all the cards, but let's get some cards for the present. The energy is gaining momentum. What's happening for Taurus in the present angle? So, we have the High Priestess. Wow. Okay. What's next? For the present, the Taurus please. Page of Cups. Underneath the King of Pentacles. Interesting. Alright, what else? And we've got the Sun underneath the Ten of Pentacles. Which is all about new beginnings, that's awesome. And we've got the King of Swords underneath the tower, I like it. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles underneath the Seven of Pentacles, I like that. And then in the last card for the present, we've got the Hermit, which is not a bad card, guys. Alright, when things don't go well, it's always good to go within and really consult your soul and your higher self and your guides. Um, as to what, you know, what's the lesson? It's not about what went wrong, what did I do, blah, blah, blah. It's not about pointing the finger or find, playing the blame game as such. It's more about what am I supposed to take away with me from this experience, you know? What growth is it going to bring about? Um, so yeah, I feel like 
in the present, you're kind of working on yourself and evolving spiritually with the high priestess, like getting very, very balanced in your inner masculine and feminine, possibly starting to merge with your higher self. But something's coming in in the present as well where there's an offer being made or some sort of a message or an offer coming through um and it's a very heartfelt sincere loving one and this offer is facing the high priestess so yeah it's interesting because i believe it's in regards to a new beginning with a king of swords but i believe that you taurus might be kind of going hang on a second i'm kind of comfortable in my nine of pentacles single, comfortable, stable, rounded, you know, working on my spirituality, on my path, building my empire kind of thing. So you might really need to go within and consult your higher self and your guides and your heart and soul, whether this is the right thing, whether you take this offer or not. That's just what I'm getting from the overview. So let's look at the future. Show the world the real you that's happening for Taurus in the future, Michael. Yeah. It's the king of wands, I like. I really feel like this is you kind of coming into that energy. Um, so what's coming next in the future for Taurus, please? The Knight of Swords, interesting. Another messenger, kind of like very rushed messages flying in kind of energy. Ooh. Is that the right card now? comes up with the Knight of Swords, please. Wow, okay. There's the Six of Swords. That is really good. Moving away from drama, trouble, all things that are stressful and no vibrational. <laughs> um, what comes next after the Six of Swords in the future, please? Mm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Butterfingers and a little bit tongue-tied today, so I do apologise. Okay, are these the next two cards in this world? Okay. So we have the Hierophant and then the Sun. This is like pretty good reading, guys. I'll just say that off the top of my head. Okay, the final card for this reading in the future was the final card for Taurus, please. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. Forward moving energy, but <clears throat> slowly forward moving. Which, you know, if you're a patient person, that's great. Alright, so let us check out these lovely cards, guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to shuffle them around a little bit because I have a little table. I apologize. Um, the moons. Alright, now I'm hoping that you can actually see them all nice and clearly too, so that you can sort of flip, follow along, but I will grab them as I go. Alright, so... As we were saying, in the past, it was about what do you need to release, yeah? That was the overall energy from the Moonology deck. Then we had the Queen of Wands. And as I was saying, the Queen of Wands is a fire sign. Either it can be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, but it can be someone that has similar traits to them. Um, fire signs are very strong-headed. They know what they're doing, where they're going, what they want, and how they're going to get there, okay? Um... They have no problem telling people where to go if they're wasting their time. They're kind of very assertive, very sure of themselves. They've learned a lot. They've grown a lot. So, Taurus, this could definitely be you kind of standing in your power and knowing your worth and sort of starting to realize who you really are on a soul level and a higher self kind of level, on a more multidimensional level almost, you know? Um, and for a lot of you, this could just be personal growth that's coming through, you know, something that's going on in your life. Um, and the reason why I say that is because you will notice the leaves on those ones. Okay, leaves on the ones represent growth. And I feel like this is spiritual growth because of the yellow there. Um, I really feel like you've learned a lot and you've come a long way. And, you know, you Taurians can be quite fiery. So it's not like, you know, Taurians can't embody the energy of the Queen of Wands. They most certainly can. <laughs> As a Taurian female, I can assure you of that. Um... However, we had someone in your energy, or this could have been you, that could have been somebody else, um, being the king of pentacles. Very stable, very grounded, very abundant, um, very level-headed. So yeah, this could have been you too, Taurus, because this is a Taurus card. It's an earth sign card, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this could have been somebody in your energy, a partner, a friend, you know, somebody that you're possibly seeing. And the reason why I say that is because of the ten of pentacles following the king of pentacles. So yeah. 
the earth sign and the fire sign card sort of coming together and hanging out but there was a desire to build an empire to build a happily ever after a strong solid foundation built on you know authenticity integrity good things positive things where you can grow old together and be happy and not have to worry about you know when you want to spend money on something anything that kind of life um you know you might have businesses you want to do together things like that you might have spiritual um you know, missions that you have to do things like that this could definitely be a very twin flame thing that that ten of pentacles is very much that whole once you come into union and you go into you know joint mission all of that big picture playing out so if this is a twin flame energy i'm looking at then yes that's definitely it um but i feel like whoever this person is that was it was in the past um there is was so much potential like a lot of potential and i say was because we're looking at the past and because we've got the tower card following the ten of pentacles so it's like something went wrong okay there was deceit lies misinformation something like that um you know one was all in the other one wasn't something like you know there was an imbalance here there was an unstable foundation and things came to a halt to or to an end and i feel like you or the other person in is in kind of a state of waiting because it's like hang on a second no we did build something there was something that i built at some point and it's like whether it's this that you built with this person or something else that you were working on at some point it's kind of like you're in a state of waiting in your heart and your soul you know that some sort of a payday or you know reward or good result or the fruits of your labor is about to come into fruition it's about to sort of fall into your lap kind of thing i really feel like it's this sense of waiting and while you're in this state of waiting in the past you kind of had to stand your ground remember who you are what you're made of where you come from and what you're about really like it's kind of like with the seven of wands it's about you standing on top of a hill which you've climbed up and all these people that are holding these ones underneath are actually trying to whack you to try and get you off your perch the place where you worked hard to get all the way to the top of that hill they're trying to knock you off that hill because they're just jealous envious hateful whatever these people have not done the hard yards or the work that you have done so it's that thing of knowing who and what you are and standing in your power and standing in your truth and not letting anybody um make you question your worth yeah or doubt your worth at all because it can be really hard when you're constantly being attacked and being criticized by people outside of you to stand your ground and know your worth and have self love and self worth it can be really really hard Taurus I know <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry croaky throat all right So moving on into the present, we have the energy is gaining momentum. Let's find out what energy is gaining momentum. So Taurus, I feel like you're pretty much coming into embodying your higher self or a very very balanced state in your inner masculine and feminine. You know, like this doesn't necessarily have to be for highly spiritual people. This can be a person that's just starting on their ascension path and starting to really find balance on their emotional, you know, with their emotions and their mental body. or coming into balance with your inner masculine and feminine that can be really really hard when you kind of realize that there's two opposing but equally you know powerful forces that really do kind of control you and you stop looking at these things it can be kind of overwhelming so for a lot of us i feel like it's either you're starting to come into embodying your higher self or you're very much coming into a balanced state within and without You know, like when you're evolving spiritually inside the world around you can start seeming so unlike you and you can feel like oh my god I'm the freak here but I feel like for some of you it will be a thing of hang on I'm not a freak I'm actually a master and you know I know who I am and I finally get it da, 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 that kind of energy coming through so I really really like that because when you're this awesome divine masculine or feminine standing in your power and your authenticity and owning who you are and being just authentically you this is bringing about an offer and as i was saying you can see it's underneath the king of pentacles so as i was saying the queen of pentacles could quite have easily been you and there could be another um a sign involved in your life but i feel like this person or you i think you're making an offer um and this is a very heartfelt offer okay the page of cups is not just like a proposal it is 
I want you with my mind, heart, soul, and body kind of thing. Like, it's not just a passing love. This is a deep soul connection. This is a water sign card as well. There is deep emotion here. Okay, um, and this person has a message and an offering of some description for you, Taurus, or you have it for them. And it's very sincere and it's very loving. Like, even my, I want to soften my voice and be so gentle because it's just like, oh my god. There's just like, can you see how he's looking at that face? Like, there is love there, okay? Think of you being the fish, Taurus, or vice versa, and the other person, or you looking at them like that. There is much love here, Taurus. That's all I'm going to say. And the thing is, this offer, I believe, is for a new beginning. A new beginning that links into the Ten of Pentacles. This person desires to start again. Clean slate, fresh start. Um, because, like, when you've got these cards kind of sitting underneath each other, it kind of does tie in. It's like that Ten of Pentacles that was, it's like not all is lost. You both want that still. And one of you really has to step up and make an offer and do something. And in the present uh, line, it feels like it's happening. You're kind of standing in your power or somebody's standing in their power and the other person's very, very drawn and wants to make an offer for a new beginning. Brand new start. Beautiful things. Okay? But Taurus, be careful. You're not you know, too standoffish, because this King of Swords energy, okay, King of Swords has been hurt, it's underneath the tower, this is why I'm saying don't be too standoffish, King of Swords has been hurt, has done a lot of healing, and is quite balanced, so they can speak about the things that, they've, that have hurt them, without being cutting or too brutal to the person they're speaking to, okay, but you need to kind of decide for yourself whether you've done enough healing or not, okay, but don't just be like, oh no, you hurt me once, so piss off, blah, 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 because this is a beautiful connection, okay? It's not something that you should necessarily flush down the gurgler so quickly. And the reason why I say that is because after the King of Swords, it's kind of like, this offer is made for a new beginning, but you're kind of like, mm, ah, ah, no, no, I remember the tower, everything you put me through, all that stuff, no, no, I'm going to cut you with my sword and say, no, screw you, I'm going to stay single. Um, But I think... You may at first feel that, but you really need to go within, okay? Like, go within, ask your higher self, your guides, your soul. You know, is this the right thing for me? And you need to really dig deep and speak your truth to yourself before you can speak it to anybody else, Taurus. If you can't speak your truth to your own self, you will never be able to speak it to another soul. And this is why, like, the Hermit card is very, very important. Hermit card is a beautiful card, like... Your own inner guidance is the guidance that is best for you. you know, even when I ask questions with my pendulum, it's always, is it in my highest and greatest good? Because really, that's the only concern. And it's like, I understand what it's like to be in this King of Swords energy and be like, no, stuff you. This pain that you put me through uh -uh, ain't happening again. I'm staying single. Stuff you. But it's just, like, there is love here. When you've got the Page of Cups... There is an ocean of emotion here in the background, okay? There, this is not false. This is not pretend, whatever this offer is. So this is why I'm saying make sure you consult your guides and your higher self. Um, and don't make any decisions out of bitterness or spite, okay? And I'm not thinking that you are because you've got the King of Swords representing your energy. Um, and as I said, everything can be vice versa. But I really feel like it's you that's kind of going, nah, uh uh Nah, 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 I got my sword up, stuff off, nah, piss off, <laughs> back up, <laughs> you know, like, it's, yeah, interesting, okay, good luck with that, anyway, in the future, Taurus, we have a show the world the real you, so let's check out what this energy means, ah, you, now going from, from the past being the queen of wands, and then balancing yourself in your, you know, sort of fiery energy, or masculine feminine energies, Stepping into a more balanced, more stable King of Wands energy. Yeah, King of Wands is very passionate, very, very fiery, but he's very stable and he's very calm. Like, look at that face. Like, very calm and composed and still. Yeah. Nothing can 
phase him kind of thing. And he's been through a lot. There's lizards in the background with their tails in the legs. It's like end of a cycle. It's major cycles of growth and learning and evolution. Okay, so this is you, Taurus, like really standing in your power, fanning the flames of your soul kind of thing, you know, it really, standing in your truth and your authenticity. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. But I feel like there's going to be a person, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, but it's also a mental energy and it's a person that's gone through a lot of growth and a lot of transformation now i feel like it could actually be the king of swords coming in as the knight of swords because it's kind of like oh i've learned so much i've had so many epiphanies i've forgotten to put my visor down because i'm in such a rush to get to you and you know there's butterflies on the horse there they represent transformation and the major arcana energy at the beginning of this reading for where you're headed is transformation so it's kind of like whether it's your transformation or somebody else's transformation that applies to you, you know? This could be that King of Pentacles having realized that they lost you in that tower after they make this offer in the present, and then in the future they're coming back at you like the King of, sorry, Knight of Swords, flying in very quickly, um, having a lot to say because they've dug deep and kind of done a bit of soul searching and a bit of growth. Um, and they have a desire to kind of move away from all the drama. Leave the past behind and move away from it. This is the card of leaving, you know, moving away from troubled waters. <laughs> going from rough seas onto calm. And this is the thing, it's almost like there has been fighting, there has been tension, there has been unpleasantness. And there is a desire to leave that behind, whether this is on your part or the, the person that's coming at you. Because, as I was saying, the way the cards are sequenced, Ten of Pentacles with the sun being the new beginning and then moving away from all the drama. The drama of the past, yeah? So it, I really feel like you both might actually feel this way at some point. Because um, it really is in the middle. I feel like you guys could be moving away from troubled waters towards a soulmate union. Because this card can represent marriage. So it is very possible that some of you could actually end up getting married to this person, this King of Pentacles or this Queen of Wands, wherever it may be. Um, <clears throat> because you're moving away from troubled waters towards the Hierophant, towards a spiritual union, <laughs> towards a twin flame union, towards a divine counterpart. Um, and I feel like this is going to be very, very balanced once you get to this stage. But there has to be growth, there has to be soul searching, there has to be um, really getting to know yourself on both parts, yeah? Not just you. And you might be right to sort of say, no, I'm not interested in this offer here in the Page of Cups. You need to go and go away, be by yourself for a while, freaking, you know, consult your soul, look at who and what you are, grow a bit, and then come back to me. And maybe that's what's going to happen in the future with the Knight of Swords. I'm just, you know, guessing from the dynamics of the cards that I've got out here. But with the Hierophant followed by the Moon card, it's like, Moon card is about things that are lies and deception and things that are unseen. So just be careful of sneaky behavior and things like that, because I'm not sure if this is actually within the spiritual union dynamic here. I feel like this is people places things around you. So just make sure you're standing in your power and being aware of the kind of energies that you're letting into your life. You know, not all friends are sincere friends. Not all people mean the best for you. Um, and it's kind of like part of your spiritual growth too. Being able to gauge energy and be able to realize, hang on, good things are worth waiting for. And sometimes if things, thing, thing, things seem too good to be true, they are. Okay. Um, and like, honestly, because I did hear spiritual union with the Herefrank card. So I don't think that it's in that dynamic where that f funniness or whatever. But I feel like, you know what, if it's a twin flame union that's coming, twin flames coming together with spiritual union with the hair front card, I guarantee it, there are going to be haters that are going to be trying, trying to cause trouble or try and, you know, put dents in it. But you guys need to understand your heart and soul and your higher selves are running the show here. Make sure that you're constantly consulting them and getting them to help because 
you're moving forward and things are progressing and things are evolving however very very slowly okay but the connection here the love is very deep <laughs> he's staring at that pentacle very very lovingly and he cares about it very very much he or she so the love here and the connection here is very deep but it's a slow moving and evolving kind of connection too so i feel like spiritual union yeah going back to this spiritual union doesn't necessarily have to mean marriage either um, so yeah, for some of you, yes, it could be marriage, but when you've got the Knight of Pentacles, there is something that's moving slowly. Now, that Knight of Pentacles could relate to the building an empire, could be moving slowly. It could also real be or the spiritual union moving slowly because there may still be things that are hidden or you remain unknown or unseen, like things that may be being kept from you. That is why things are moving slowly. So for Twin Flames, Guys, you know what, if there is a comic in the mix, or there has been, and they've only just gone, they don't roll over and die that easy. Like, take it from me, they don't. I've had a few wonderful moments where I'm like, yeah, they're gone. Nah, -uh. nah, -uh. nah, -uh. it's like whack-a-mole. One goes, another one pops up. Insane. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like that, but it is. Um, and I have to make a joke of it, because otherwise you're just like, oh no, life is fine. Anyway, um, I really hope that resonated, Taurus, because let me know in the comments if it did. And I am sorry about tongue tied, but let's have some cards from the Heart and Soul Oracle for Taurus for this reading, please, for the new moon in Scorpio. Oof, too many cards. Sorry, guys. Heart shaped cards are a little bit tricky to handle. Okay, I have one. So, the first card that you have says, tune out of your thoughts and into your heart. Everything you are looking for really is inside you. Look within, keep an open heart and mind, and then follow your intuition. Beyond thought, there is knowing that embraces all knowledge. Your inner vision has a magnetic quality that draws everything you need closer to you. I know. I love that card. It's kind of beautiful. The other one that flipped up. This says, every relationship goes through changes, but this does not mean that the love has gone. Let this be a time of reflection. Some adjustments may be needed. Perhaps a new purpose needs to be discovered. It may feel cold and lonely, but beneath the surface, the earth is warming to the promise of spring. In the meanwhile, express how you feel, gently, lovingly, and honestly. Let yourselves be vulnerable and hold each other tight. Yeah. Speak your truth, Taurus, please. Like, what have you got to do? I feel like some of you really want to pull your heart out, but the, this fear of rejection, fear of just silly stuff that's holding you back. I don't know. I feel like it's silly stuff. Okay. Your final Heart and Soul Oracle says, Every challenge provides an opportunity to discover a deeper meaning to life. Each challenge can be a gateway to something greater. Use your intuitive and creative powers. Many solutions exist. Move beyond fear and you'll discover that there are no limits apart from the limits that we ourselves have placed. That is so true, Taurus. Like, if you're saying, oh, no, this is not right or this is not going to work, it's you that's deciding that. Not the universe, not anybody else, right? So, <laughs> let's have some Aboriginal totem cards to finish this reading off. This has some beautiful cards and sometimes it's kind of the tough love that you need. I love this deck. Okay. So, ooh, love <laughs> says, before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. If you open your heart to love, it will flow into your soul. <sighs> All right. Then we have success. It says, you are worthy of this success. Allow these feelings of accomplishment to fill you with contentment and self-satisfaction in your achievement. Exactly. Right. Especially for those of you that may be coming together with your twin. Like, I know how hard it can be, this growth, and all the things that you need to do before you can come to that point. So, yeah, if you're feeling accomplished because of that, you should. <laughs> okay. And your final card is trust. 
says, don't trust what you are being told. There is more to this situation. The answers lie within the finer details which are not being shared with you. That really applies to that moon card dynamic where, you know, there are people holding withholding information or things that are being kept. Um, that doesn't necessarily apply to those that are coming together in a spiritual union. There might be some that are being kept from a spiritual union because things are being kept um, hidden still. So please do consult your guides and I really hope this resonated, Taurus. I will see you again for the full moon. Thanks.